This is Alan Weaver. I'm talking about the fitness project that we're working on in Access during the first couple of sessions of the class. Uh, in here, we're going to be following the back of the chapter here, doing things, creating two tables in this database, uh, creating a form, doing a couple of reports. What I want to talk about here are doing queries. These queries that I have here were not done in the text. However, queries are very important. We have created two tables in here. One is on all the members. As you remember, we copied and pulled them out of here. And if we look here, we have a total of 40 members. You want to close out this one table. We click on that X there, program. And by this here, these are all the different types of programs that we have. And since we created a relationship, which was discussed in the first two chapters, essential to know if you click on the plus, it shows we have one adult, one full. Or if we go over into here, uh, junior limited three members. So that's a relationship when you see those little pluses here. What I want to talk about now is creating a query. For example, we have this fitness club here. We want to find all the people in Chester, Virginia. And to do that, we click on create. Shows a whole bunch of things here. The easy way to do this is to use the query design. We have two tables here. I want to just add the member. I say add close. I accidentally put this on here. I just right click, remove table. You only want one there. Otherwise, it won't work in here. So we want to find all the members where they live. So I could say first name, last name, street, city. And let's say we want to know the date they joined. So we have these five fields in here. There's the field list there. What I want to do is I want to find all the ones that live in Chester. So we have criteria right here. We go here, and we have to make sure we go into the right column, not street. It's in the city. We type in Chester. It is not case sensitive. When I click outside of it, it puts quotes on it because it's a text field in here or a text query. And I run the query. I want to ask. I click on the exclamation point, and it shows that we have a bunch of people. Let's say we want to sort this by last name. We go back to the design view. To do that, we click here. We go in ascending order. Run the query. And we got this here. And everything looks fine. We don't have to expand anything. If you see something that looks like this, you just double click with that little black cross as you see between street and city. It makes it wider. Let's say we don't need to see the Chester because we're going to name this query. It says query one. We want to save it. And let's call it. Chester members. Hit the OK. And if you don't want that to show up because we're calling it Chester members, we go back into the design view. We uncheck Chester, run the query. And when we close this out, it asks if you want to save because we changed the design. We say yes. So in a nutshell, that is the query. If you don't want that, close that out.